What is up guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about Xborg. Now I know Xborg has not came out yet, but there is a pre-sale which um, made Mobile Legends give you a 3 day trial card when you do a pre-sale. Right? So if you buy that, you get a 3 day trial of Xborg and I bought it. Um, you cannot buy him until he is released. So for those 3 days, I kind of experimented around with him and this is the best um, this is, I think, is the best way possible um, to build Xborg, alright? So, first off, let's talk about the emblems, alright? Before we go into the gameplay. He's most likely gonna be Fire Emblem or Assassin Emblem. You could either go Bounty Hunter on Assassin Emblem, or you could do um, the one that does more damage when an enemy hero is alone. You could either do one of those two talents. But I really recommend the Fighter Emblem, alright? Which gives you Spell Vamp. Um, the more kills you have, uh, you can get all the way up to 12% Spell Vamp for your fighter emblem all right so make sure you fix up your emblem and go with that make sure it has physical penetration and physical attack um as for the spell either go with sprint or flicker sprint flicker or purify one of those maybe even retribution at some times all right and uh, he's gonna be a solo laner all right this guy's gonna be a solo laner in my opinion all right let's go over the gameplay let's lower it down a little bit so you guys can hear me hopefully uh, let's put it to 10 usually i have it on 10 whenever i do my gameplay so first off, the first thing I do when I'm solo laning, if I know that I will receive um, or will will probably farm a lot of the jungle when my teammates don't take it, I usually get the first tier jungle item first. All right, first tier jungle item. Now you could go all the way to third uh, third tier pillager axe if you know that you're stealing a lot of counter jungling right here on your enemy side. Uh, and if you're getting the crab on this side, if you're getting this, so it all depends if you're getting a lot of buffs or and uh, and jungle minions. If you want to upgrade it to the third tier jungle item, which makes you a lot more tankier and harder to kill. But uh, what you're prioritizing is pretty much bloodless axe. If you're not getting a lot of jungle minions, then you want to go for the bloodless axe. All right, that's your priority because that is your main point of damage and that is your main point of sustain. Okay. So right here, I'm just farming, obviously, pretty normal basic rotation in the beginning, right? I'm getting the crab, getting every single resource that I can. Um, I realized that, oh, I was getting a lot of jungle minions. So I was like, oh, let me let me upgrade my jungle uh, jungle item to uh, the third tier since I'm getting a lot of these jungle, um, jungle minions. I'm already level 3, as you can see, because I have the jungle item, and they're only level 2. This guy just turned level 3, and I'm almost level 4. Um, you see, I, I just got a kill right there, and I think Kari is going to steal this one. Uh, yeah, he does steal this one. I'm pretty. Oh, actually, I stole it. So he got. Yeah, Kari got the first kill, and I got the second skill. So that, that, that's fine with me as long as we win lane. So we already won lane. Uh, my objective is okay. So there's two people dead in my lane. So I checked all these uh, jungle minions, see if there's any open. See, you see. You, do you notice what? You, do you notice that I'm checking? I go near where they spawn, and I check if they're there. If they're not there, just go away and do something else. Always do an objective if your enemy is dead. All right. And look at the lifesteal I have for this. Make sure when you're doing your jungle, pick up those little things so you have a lot of sustain. You don't have, you don't get damage as much, right? Um, yeah, those little uh, tool. I don't know what they're called, but um, it's really good for X board. Okay, the combo for X board is you want to ulti in and then second skill right away. So they once you blow up, your second skill will come in. Like like you see, your second skill comes in, and then as soon as you blow up. The true damage will hit them as soon as your second skill pushes them towards you, alright? So that is the combo for Xborg. And then to run away or to chase, you just use your first skill. He is pretty self-explanatory to play. And it's actually, he's pretty easy. If you're new to Mobile Legends, he might be a good pickup. If you're in the more on the lower tier, uh, lower rank tier. Um, for Mythic tier, I'm not very sure. Because there's a lot of like heroes that are way better than him in my opinion. Like... Teresla, I think, is better than him. Um, I think that Leomard is still better than him. I think that Hayabusa is still better than him. Um, I think that Thamos is still better than him. So yeah, th those are those are the heroes that are better than um, Xborg when it comes to solo laning. But if you're in the lower rank, like Grandmaster, Epic, then I think Xborg could definitely help you since um, not a lot of people are mechanically too good in the Epic rank, right? They're not that they're not that good at uh, Epic rank mechanically. So you should be fine with Xborg, but once you reach like Legend or Mythic, you might have a hard time um, playing Xborg. But he, he's still viable, definitely. He's still viable in Mythic rank. Um, it's just he's going to be harder to play in Mythic rank since people are going to know how to counter this guy. 
So your main uh, your main point of damage is your ulti, all right? That's what you want to engage with, and you just want to poke with your first skill. That's uh, he's pretty boring. I wouldn't say boring to play, but like he's just really simple, and it doesn't take much to be good at Xbox. Look at this, boom! Look at that true damage when I blow up, and we get an easy kill. Look, easy kills right here. Yeah, you you pretty much use your second skill to push people back for chasing, all right? So let's say the the enemy is running away. You want a second skill in front of them. So as soon as that second skill, uh, as soon as your second skill missiles land, they're gonna push into you, and then you can just keep burning them, and then you have life steal back. All right, you spell vamp over them. Um, the next item after bloodless axe is wings of apocalypse. You could either go for if you're really fed, you want to go for hunter strike, since for hunter strike, when you attack an enemy five times in a row, which is what's happening with your burning um, skill, which is your first skill. Once you attack someone five times in a row, your movement speed rises up. So you could either pick, um, you could pick either. Do you want to build boots or not? You don't really need boots for, um, for X Borg in my opinion. If you have sprint or if you have flicker, you don't really need boots for X Borg most likely, since you're gonna be like, uh, how do you want to say this? Um, you're more, you're more like a suicide bomber in a way, cause you're you're, ulting in to the team fight, and then as soon as you you blow up, your whole armor, this this line right here will go away no matter what all right this thing will go away no matter what as soon as you blow up right so that means that this is your health make sure that you're aware if that line is somewhere here and then you ult in once you blow up you only have this much health so you better make sure that you use your ulti wisely all right don't just be going in over and over and over again see look at you you will never see me ulti with really low health and then i make sure that when i'm almost blown up with my ulti i try to i try to just stick next to them because the true damage will not land if you're not next to them as soon as your um, as your ulti blow up blows up. And this guy, luckily, I got the shield right there, so he actually managed not to kill me. And I managed to get away right here. This Uranus is look at this. They can't even kill me. It's, it's just way way too strong, right? Way too strong. So yeah, this is pretty much how Xborg is played. All you do is kite with your first kill and then chase with your first kill as well, depending on what the situation is. Um, engage with your ulti make sure that you blow up blow them up and be next to the hero that you want to blow up so most likely you want to be like if, if i'm fighting this team right here most likely i'm going to be trying to blow up roger but it's really hard since he has a dash it's really hard to blow up fanny since she has a cable uh karina is going to be easier to blow up since um she doesn't really have a dash but she is pretty fast angela is easier to blow up since she doesn't really have a dash but she she does have a slow and look what I do here. I just poke with my first skill, as you can see. Look at I'm poking. I'm doing a two v one, and look, 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 look where I'm staying. I'm staying next to the two carries to make sure that as soon as I blow up, I'm next to them, and then they just get melted by my ulti. That is your main point of damage. Is your true damage when you blow up. So make sure you hit that. It's kind of like a semi skill shot in a way, all right? Overall, he's pretty easy to play. Um, after bloodless axe like i said you could build either boots or for this game i didn't even build boots because i was running sprint i was i had sprint spell um and then uh if you don't want to build boots you can go to wings of apocalypse right away and then after wings of apocalypse you could go for hunter strike all right um if you're full health you don't have to pick up the item uh the little tool things the little um health bar thing things that you that drop all right whenever you do your first skill you don't have to pick it up um when you're um when you're full health and look at this i'm trying to stick next to people look at look at that damage once once i blow up that is pretty much the goal for for x board and then i use sprint to try and run away see what i mean sprint to run away and then just first kill to the direction where they're gonna be at all right so make sure you first kill correctly and wisely to where the enemies will be at depending on where your the uh, trajectory of your where you're running is all right and right here look at i have so much jungle since they my teammates never took the blue buff and the small minions all right and by the way this is only classic obviously since i cannot play him in rank this is a trial card he's not even out yet so i can't play him in rank i wish i could and try him out in rank but hey it's a pre-sale event and i can't try him out in rank uh, at the current moment but i think that this is pretty viable this build uh, this build and how i'm playing him is pretty self-explanatory to be honest with you and it's pretty easy right now look at this I have so much lifesteal and I'm so confident that I'm just going to kill everybody. Boom! Look at that damage on Roger. They just got melted. See that? And um, I'm, j I'm just going back and forth on Angela so that the tower doesn't hit me over and over again. 
And that's it. Uh, all I have to do is life steal, spell vamp on minions. So whenever you're low, as soon as you get bloodless axe, all you have to do is either go to a minion wave or go to a jungle and life steal your health back up. You don't even have to recall all the time, even if you're low. The only way that you're gonna recall is if you if is if you think the enemy is nearby and you're really really low. And but look at this, I don't have to recall and I'm already like full health technically. I'm trying to avoid um, Fanny from getting the blue, so I want to put pressure on her, of course. Keep her away. Look at this. Everybody's having a hard time trying to kill me. I'm just keeping my distance. I don't want to go too close. Look at this. I see Roger. As soon as I see Roger, I go change my direction of where I'm going at, and I ult in. He doesn't have dash, so he's gonna die. Boom. Easy, uh, easy true damage right here. And I'm just gonna try to sidestep Fanny's cable so he has to run away. There you go. We're kinda good. See, I pretty much use my second skill to where the enemies are gonna be at if I want them closer to me. So, make sure that you use your second skill wisely. It's very, very important as x -Borg. I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill this Uranus. He's very tanky. Yeah, I tried to use my second skill to bring him into me, but... It was it was not enough. And look at this. I just tried to sidestep uh, Fanny. Good thing that first skill missed right there. He would have killed me. I was really lucky. But we're good. I'm really really low. But look look what look what I'm gonna do. All I have to do is go to a small minion right here. Go to a small minion and then clear the wave and I get full health back. See what I mean? This is considered as health as well. I'm already like 60% health technically, right? I'm gonna get the blue buff so Fanny doesn't get it first before I help the team fight. It's more important for Fanny to disable Fanny. So here we go. I see a team fight coming in. I'm gonna ult in. There it is. This should be an easy kill right here on Angela. As soon as I blow up. There it is. And Roger is not gonna be able to burst me since my life steal. My spell vamp is way too strong. And to chase, look at this. All you do is you just use your first skill and chase. Pretty self-explanatory to be honest. We're 17-0 and 8. I actually did not notice my kills when I was playing. I was just playing regularly like the way I used to usually and I wasn't realizing that I had so many kills and I was so fed. But if you notice my teammate like this is the potential of X-Borg like if, even if my teammate is feeding 0-9 it doesn't matter like this guy's 1-7 in seven, right? You can carry a whole team with this guy. I mean the enemy team is not even that bad look at they had they don't they technically don't have any like straight up feeders like this guy. You see? They're most likely like almost equal KDA, almost each one of them, look at equal KDA. While my team, look at this guy's 1 in 7, this guy's 0 10, and I'm, I'm pretty much like a one man army, really. I messed up my first skill right there, by the way, that was really bad. So, right here, try to just focus and life steal back my HP. Angela can't kill me, so I'm not really worried about that. Trying to look for Fanny, but Fanny cables away. The only teammate that I really have, it's, it's, it was pretty much 3v5 to be honest, Kari and Lilia. And then it was me, 18, 0, and 10. And then the Mia was the freaking bot, and <laughs> the Dyrus was kind of pretty bad as well. But that doesn't matter. Never give up. Look at the enemy team is actually winning on towers, but we still managed to, to pull it off. Um, we lost our inhib tower at top lane, that's why I recalled. And I was like, alright. If Fanny's gonna split push this or Roger's gonna split push this, I'm just gonna push it all the way. Um, the bad part about this is I'm like, alright, it's up to my teammates to survive the next te couple of team fights since I have to clear all this and push this lane so they can't backdoor, even with the super minions. See what I mean? They're, they're having a fight here at mid lane and I'm like, alright, I need to push this really, really hard so I can force them to rotate to me up here. And that's exactly what Roger is doing as you can see. Let's see here. As soon as I see Roger, I'm gonna do a 2v1. There it is. Here we go. Here we go. I think I ulti in. So make sure you ulti before your armor all right, runs out. Because your armor will not work. Your armor will not work if your... Um, uh, I mean, your ulti will not work if that armor is out. So make sure you ulti if you still, once you still have armor, okay? This color right here. This one. You are not able to ulti without it. So make sure you ulti with it. Yeah, that's just another tip. Another tip is once your armor breaks and once you blow up, um, your first skills, uh, your first skill range is actually longer, and your second skill range is a lot longer. I went for the tower right there, so this is pretty easy. Look at this, bam! Look at that damage. Karina can't immune me since I'm dealing true damage, and it's based off skill. My first skill is based off skill. Another kill right there. Look at that, bam! He just, she just gets burned. 
Uh, I tried to get a Maniac, but it was a little too late right here. Okay, here we go. I OT again, but Roger dashes. Um, I, I'm actually pretty proud of the Roger here since he learned his lesson. Every time I ulti, he dashes away, which is the right thing to do. So if you want to learn how to counter Exborg, you're going to want to dash away every time I ulti in. Since once I blow up, that deals a lot of damage. That's how you counter Exborg. Because um, my main damage is my ulti blowing up. Without that, look at my lifesteal. It's just insane, especially when these minions spawn. Doesn't even matter. You're pretty much like a semi tank. Pretty much, yeah. And right here, I try to get the tower. Yep, get the tower. I don't have any. Um, I don't. As you can see, I can't ult him since I don't have the uh, the armor built in. So I gotta wait. But I'm still getting kills. I'm just poking with my first skill, as you can see. Now I have my armor, so I can ult in right there. Boom! As soon as I blow up, see Roger is actually running away. He actually learned his lesson, so that's good. That's good to see from a player. He learned his lesson in one in a matter of one game. He knows how to counter me. So the only counter for Exborg is really true, like hard crowd control. Um, trying to make him move. Don't don't make him spell vamp all his health back. So you can either burst him right away, um, all the way from his health right here. If he's half health, he cannot ulti. So Chu is a really good counter for him. Um, people who are really mobile, like Fanny, is a really good counter for him. Um, anybody with dash is a really good counter so you can avoid the uh, the ulti blowing up uh, after for the build by the way after um, after hunter strike you can go for a tank item or if you want to go more damage you can go for blade of despair all right for more damage and look at this I ult in and Roger actually dashes away super super smart yeah I'm actually really proud of this role I was watching this gameplay and I was like this Roger knows what's up he know, he been, even though he's dying a lot to me, he knows how to, he knows what to do just to avoid my main point of damage, which is super cool to see. I like seeing that people improving as the game goes by. And look at this, I, they can't do anything. I'm just wait. I'm 28, 0, and 12. I'm pretty sure you can't do much about it. So I think we finished the game here. So hopefully you guys learned something from this gameplay, and um, if you guys have any suggestions on how to build Exborg or if there's any other items that are really good with him, please comment that below. Um, if you think that there's any other secrets for Exborg or tips and tricks that I miss, um, obviously comment those below as well. And also comment your opinion on, oh, is Exborg going to be meta? Is he going to be top tier like the other solo laners? Is he going to be really OP? Is he ban worthy and all that? So we can have a discussion, a whole long discussion below, all right? So let's look at our items first. Um, as you can see, if you look at my item, like I said, if I, if I knew that I was going to get a lot of jungle mon monsters, I was going to build the third tier jungle item after Pillager X, right? And then stack that stack that up all the way to 15 jungle monsters. After that, you want to get Bloodless X priority, priority, right? Um, like I told you before, I, I didn't build boots since I felt like I didn't need it because I was just going in with my ulti and I had sprint anyways. So I didn't really need boots. I was kind of just like, like I said earlier, a suicide bomber. As soon as I die, as soon as I my my, uh, my ulti blows up, I just let Bloodless Axe do the works and Wings of Apocalypse, right? And then life steal everything back up. After um after this two items, so this is the first one, number one. Let me put a number one right there. This is the second one. Um, if you don't want to upgrade this, you can just keep it to the normal first tier jungle item, right? And then go on with your normal build where I'm numbering them in order, right? And then if you're really fed, right? If you're really fed, you can go for number three right here. Or if you're not fed. If you're not fed, right here, okay? If you're not fed. This could be number four, and then five, and then six, which is immortality or any defense item that you think you need. If they're really mage heavy, then obviously you can go for like Athena shield, Oracle, or any other defense items that um, have magic resist, all right? So that is it. Make sure to adjust your build based on what you see on the other team comp. And uh, hopefully we went 28-0 and 12. Let's check out our stats. Uh, look at it was a 16-minute game, but I had almost 19,000 gold. So it was like more than 1,000 gold per minute, which is pretty freaking insane, right? He waves clear really, really fast. And look at that. Look at my tower push. I pretty much did everything, really, literally. The tower push, 19,000 damage. And look at my um, hero damage, 220,000 hero damage. 
All right, and I had I had a zero and twelve Mia and a two and nine Dyra. So this is the potential of Exborg. Uh, sadly, I couldn't play him in rank. And if you think about it, look at how much I tanked. Like it, I wasn't even playing safe. I was playing really really aggressive as Exborg as a one man team. I didn't have a tank with me, and I tanked the most. Thirty nine percent, one hundred forty eight thousand um, hero. Uh, enemy damage on me all right so that's really good that's how we got it um that is it hopefully you guys learned something from this and hopefully you guys enjoyed um this video and this gameplay make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't yet thank you guys for my supporters so far we just recently reached 50,000, so thank you guys for that love you guys for that and um this is why i love doing my stuff my my content and stuff i've been busy lately with all the uh, since my stepbrother is here, I cannot really stream that much. But once he leaves, I'll start grinding streaming again and all that, right? So thank you for understanding. And for my members, um, I'll get to you a summer skin giveaway soon, all right? So I'll put a public um, announcement on that, on that soon, all right? Thank you. Peace out.